As we have a special guest here tonight from Forest Valley, New York City, uh, please welcome Victoria Arnstein. I'm very excited. I just celebrated because I just got back from a comedy world tour, guys, all around the world. Thank you. It was so much fun telling jokes in all the different countries in Epcot Center. I <laughs> So I get stopped now. I'm down when I was doing a comedy. People just stop me in the street. They're like, oh my god, I know you, I know you. So this one woman came up to me the other day and she goes, I know you, you're hilarious. I said, thank you. Did you on the Comedy World Tour? She said, no, I saw you telling off that manager at Walgreens the other day. <laughs> but I was hilarious, right? That's all. That's all that mattered to me. Oh, man, you know, I'm actually really, I know I look like every bitch who's ever complained to a manager. <laughs> okay, I get it a lot, but I'm nice, I am. Actually, you know, sometimes when I'm driving my car, I'll stop for some pedestrians, you know? <laughs> I'll be like, you may go. Uh, not you, you may go. <laughs> I don't want to brag, but I just got a personal shopper <coughs> at Walgreens. <laughs> I, I press this button and a bell rings and an assistant comes running up to me to take my deodorant out of a case. <laughs> so fancy. <laughs> they say, do what you love and you never have to work a day in your life. So I got married and I do my husband, it's that good. <laughs> Just celebrated 23 year wedding anniversary, guys. That's thank you, thank you. The special anniversary it was, my husband took me to the supermarket. And it wasn't just any supermarket, it was Whole Foods, a fucking question, okay? <laughs> People ask me, what's the secret to your long marriage? What's the secret? I said, the secret is, first of all, I know how to end an argument every single time. I just lift up my shirt. <laughs> Bonus if I'm not wearing a bra. <laughs> Ladies, take notes, all right? Ladies, do you know the, the uh, power you have? Do you understand the power you have? She do? does. She does. She gets it. She gets it this morning, okay? Let me tell you something. We have the equipment that they want. That they need. Take it from Adam and Eve. No one even pays attention to the Bible. They have good stories. <laughs> Eve, you don't think she could have picked that apple herself? She knows exactly what she was doing. She was Adam. <laughs> could you? Could you pick that apple? Adam's like, oh my God. You know how to pick that apple? It's low hanging fruit. You pick your nose. You pick everything. What are you talking about? No, but you're so good at it. <laughs> and then he got punished. Don't you understand? You have, ladies, you have to have the same confidence as a flaming homosexual. And I'm here. It's fabulous. That's what you have to do. Right away, I'm competing with this thing. With my jacket. I'm flashy, but I'm not trashy. All right? You feeling me? You feeling me all right? Oh, I have a friend. She's a whore. <laughs> She's actually a prostitute, that's why you're up. She, she doesn't even call herself a prostitute. But every man takes her out for dinner, then they pay for dinner, and then they have sex. That's a prostitute. And I'm not even putting her down, I'm actually really jealous, because I'm married and I only have one client, my husband. <laughs> and he's away and business is slow. <laughs> so I'm doing this new thing now, ladies, listen to this. I'm actively listening to my husband now. It's really working for me in my favor. Let me tell you something, okay? I'm actively listening, not just like listening. The other day we were laying around in bed casually and out of nowhere he says to me, I want an adventure. I want to go hiking all over the world. I love the element of surprise and the adrenaline rush. So I push him off the bed. <laughs> I handled everything. It was free and we didn't have to leave the house. Huh? That was the best I've ever done. He also loves a challenge, so uh, I made up this new game called Eeny Meeny Money Mo. <laughs> That's where I empty over all bank accounts and make him guess where the money is. <laughs> he loves that game. I love that game. I think he's becoming a feminist now. I don't like it. I don't like it. I think that because he's starting to think we're equal now, and I'm so much more superior than he is. <laughs> yeah, like lately he's been asking me to do this thing called um, work. I'm like, you mean a day job? You know I do stand up for 10 minutes a night, right? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't do anything. I said, really? I said, I asked you 
what I was good at. He said I was great at complaining. I don't shut the fuck up. I think I nailed it. I said, really, do you feel like that? He goes, yeah, I feel like every day, all day, all of his work for you. That's all I do is work for you. I said, oh my God. You're right. Who said you could talk to me this long? Break time's over. Wrap that shit up. I can't talk to your boss like that. A millennial? A millennial came up to me after the show once and she goes, don't you want to work and make your own money? I said, no, I want my husband to work and make my own money. <laughs> she goes, don't you want to contribute to the world? I said, what do you do? She goes, I'm a king tech queen. I said, oh, so you contribute to obesity and diabetes? You know what? I got three kids in the bath at the same time and no one died! Do you know how hard that is when I'm making a dirty martini and they're screaming, Ma, don't drown me! Don't drown me! <laughs> my friends give me a hard time because I give my kids an eating disorder. You know, to save money, to get to. <laughs> Not the kind of eating disorder where they throw up their food. I'm a Jewish mother, I would never do that. That's a waste of food and money. <laughs> the kind where I tell them they're fat, and over time that shit ends up when they don't eat dinner, and there's a Porsche out there with my name on it. It's not going to buy itself. I can't crack you. You're very hard. You're not, you're not really lightly like, you know. I'm not Oh, it's inside, inside. <laughs> I hate kids. <laughs> Not everybody, it's just mine. They're very clingy and expensive. I have to pay for everything with the money my husband gives me. I have to pay for their food. I have to pay for their violin lessons. I have to pay as the children play with them. I'm kidding, they don't play violin, I'm not a monster. My 14 year old is the biggest pain in my ass because she still lives with us. I know, she walked in on my husband and I having sex. It's a true story. I know. I go, don't you not? She goes, you're in the kitchen! <laughs> so what are you doing in the kitchen? I thought I gave you that eating disorder. <laughs> now I have to have that long, awkward talk with her. You know the one where I have to tell her she has to move out. <laughs> She's doing okay though. She's actually a school president, guys. Give it up for my daughter. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very proud. She was homeschooled that year, but that's okay. <laughs> I didn't even know what I was doing in that homeschool year. I had no idea what I was doing the first day of homeschool. I'm like, oh, watch this video of Benjamin Franklin. I hear he's a genius. It's like 30 minutes long. Five minutes later, she goes, Mom, Benjamin Franklin paid women to have sex with him. I go, oh my God, he was a genius. You see how ugly he was? He had to pay women to have sex with him. Plus, that says how the hundred dollar bill was invented because he was sick of paying in the 50s. Look it up. It's <laughs> Uh, she's, she's very woke. I don't like it at all. By the way, I put that on the finance and history. Two words. <laughs> fucking song. Um, she, uh, she's getting very woke. I don't like it one day. No, not one day. The other day I said to her, I want to put two white pillows on the sofa. She goes, that's racist. That's racist? I yelled at her because everyone knows that if you yell, you fucking run. <laughs> I said, shut the fuck up, you loser bitch. <laughs> and then I had to explain to everyone sitting in the waiting room at the pediatrics office what had happened. Because she whispered her part and I was yelling. It's not fair. It's sneaky. And then I did explain to everybody there. And I think they all agree that um, teaching came very naturally to me. Because <laughs> child services doesn't stop calling me. <laughs> Alright, so let's pick up the room here a little bit. Uh, so cancer's not going to happen, right? The zodiac sign, huh? Who gives a cancer? Yeah, so you're annoying. You don't want to tell us. Uh, no, it's, it's the cramp. It's the most protective of its mate. And I could say this because my, uh, I used to date a guy that was a cancer. And uh, he was up my ass. But the worst part about it was that he hated that I had a husband. <laughs> I couldn't do with that. It's okay. I made a better choice. My husband has a much bigger bank account. Um, <laughs> But uh, I don't want to divide the room, but what's your stance on, uh, and shout out if you're really for or against it, what's your stance on pedophilia? Bro. <laughs> there was a video that went viral. Yeah, some of you aren't fed. Uh, there was a video that went, went viral. It was an Arab man from an Arab nation, and he was about to marry a 12-year-old girl who was 80. My, my, my reaction was, oh my God, this man's 80. He could die any day. My second thought, holy shit, this little girl that's collected inheritance at such a young age? What a lucky bitch! <laughs> I 
Anybody on Tinder? All right, let me you know let me leave you with this, guys, because I have to go. This is this is my time. I have to leave you guys. Don't be sad. You look very sad. To me. <laughs> He's dying in some way. Uh, I sell my uh, husband's things on Craigslist, you know, to make extra money. He doesn't have to know. <laughs> so I was selling his ladder. It was shiny and it was two hundred dollars. I was selling it for fifty dollars. A bargain. A bargain. There's always this one guy. I'll give you forty dollars for that ladder. That's all the money I have. So what? You only have forty dollars. You're a grown man. You only have two twenty-dollar bills. You only have two Andrew Jacksons? Hey, you only have $40 and you're buying a ladder? I said, alright, I'll give you that ladder for $40. And I'll throw my husband's rope in for free, huh? That's a suicide joke. That's what I'm leaving you on, guys. Follow me on Instagram. Victoria meets you, man. Thank you so much, guys. Happy to see you. Yes, I'm not going to tell you everybody right here.